Hey, heathens. I got asked by someone to do a video about the soul. Uh, and I thought I'd already done one. Um, and, but I got to think about it, and I don't think I have, actually. I know that I've posted in text comments many, many times about this, but uh, I don't think I've ever actually done the video. So I figured, okay, well, let's go ahead and do the video. So here it is, my thoughts on the soul. Number one, before we can do this, now keep in mind, this is a little harder to do, and this is why I've done it in text so many times, because everyone's answers to these questions are all different. And so the way that I argue it is I walk you down to a point to where you can't get out no more. I corner you in your own bad logic. So it's going to be a little harder to do that in, the, in video style, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a try. But the first thing I want you to do for me is answer, what is a soul? What proof do you have that any soul exists? Let's just start there. As a matter of fact, how about all you people who do believe in a soul, give me a video response. And let's start by answering those questions, or all of these questions that I'm going to ask. Starting with, what is a soul? And what proof do you have that one exists? Okay? Start there. Once you can figure out how you're going to pull that off, now I want to know, when do we get our souls? Okay? Does this happen at conception? right when the sperm meets the egg? Does it happen later on in development? Does it happen at childbirth? Does it happen a couple of years after childbirth? When exactly does it happen? Because see, you've got big problems no matter what your answer may be. Okay? And let's start with some of the, the, the uh, obvious ones. Twins. If you get your soul at conception and later the uh, split occurs to create identical twins, do they now share a soul? Did they get a new soul some kind of way? And if so, how did it get there? Uh, some You may not know this, but most people were actually supposed to be twins. We ate the other one. It's true. Uh, so when that happens, if the souls were already there and there were two souls for the twins that were going to exist, but now one Eight the other, does it now have two souls? And does the other soul go back to heaven as a zygote soul? Where exactly in your body does the soul reside? Is it all the way through your body? If it is, if I cut off your arm, do you lose a piece of your soul? If it's not in every part of your body, where in your body is it? Is it in your heart? I know that sounds all romantic, uh, you know, and that's the way that uh, you know, they like to portray it, that it's in, in, it's in your heart, or is it in your brain? Is the soul in your brain? Is that why cognitive thought happens in the brain and everything else centers around the brain? I refer you back to my cognitive thought video. It goes in, into deeper detail of this whole idea of you know, what happens after you die and whether or not your soul exists to take it to heaven and would you still remember anything about your life. Or how about this? Did your soul exist before you were ever born or conceived or whatever? You know, a hundred years ago, did your soul exist? Okay, if it did, okay, if your soul has existed for all eternity, when you die and your soul goes back to heaven, does that mean that it comes back at some point in time? We'll probably get a little bit more consistent answers with that second part, but there's a contradiction that occurs. Ooh, we gotta love those. So I'd like to see what kind of answers we do in fact get though. Is your soul just one soul if you have split personalities? You know, how exactly does this soul thing work? But anyhow, watch that video and then think about the questions that I just presented to you and please give me your answers. Um, and that'll end let's say phase one of this video. Phase two of this video is just basically going to be telling you that I see no purpose for the idea that a soul exists. Everything about the, this notion falls apart in one way, shape, or form or the other. Um, what is this soul? This soul that they always try to describe is just simply the sum of the parts of our body. You know, our brain working uh, and you know, responding to the rest of us. You know, that, that feeling you get inside, you know, that's just uh, you know, endorphins and you know, various other hormones that your, your brain causes to, to spout out. You know, 
anyway, we, we, we call these things a soul or a spirit or whatever, but there's no proof that any of it actually exists. So as far as what are my thoughts on the soul, it's as real as your God. But don't take my word for it. Think for yourself.